Another free tool that we can use to create a wireframe is GoMockingbird.com. Now notice with this one, um, we're going to want to try to click where it says try creating wireframes for free. And it's going to give us a mock wireframe with some other things already set up. Notice the fine print here. You only have so many days before it becomes read only and then they want you to sign up for an account. Um, but to get rid of, if you wanted to just kind of start editing this page and leaving what's on here, you could do that. Or if you want to start from scratch, I would just click and drag around everything to select everything and then hit delete. And then you have just a fresh, clean page to, to work with. The add element button here at the bottom left, that's what you're going to click to start adding your items to the page. So for example, if I had um, a, a logo, you can click it and you know double click them or just click it and then drag or you can drag a button on um, put text so again the text doesn't really matter but it's just an idea I'm not gonna go through and make a very complete page like I did with the example one video with wireframe.cc but this what's kind of nice about go mockingbird is you have some really detailed um, stuff you can put on here. Just make sure you know how to translate this into HTML. Some of this you might not know how to do that. Um, there's even like video players and apps and so it's very very detailed. They even have the actual social media icons that you can throw in there. Um, so a little more detailed than wireframe.cc but again it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be super detailed with wireframes. Um, there's the link, there's an actual one that looks like a link, on welcome signs, things like that. All right, another thing that's nice is you can, just like wireframe.cc, you can share your link. So here's a shareable link to give to somebody once you're done with your wireframe. Um, notice there's not really an edge of the page here, so um, you kind of have to create your own or just kind of keep it um, in your mind. But you can also do multiple pages here, so you'll notice that it's got different pages that you can look at as well. Um, you can close out this toolbar if you need to. You can also have, do the screenshot just like we did with the other. And again, if you need to zoom out with the command or control minus, you can do that and then get your snippet tool or your um, tool in your command shift four in Mac and you could get a screenshot of your wireframe. Okay, so that's super ugly, doesn't look like a great wireframe, but that's um, how you can use Go Mockingbird. So it's a little bit different than wireframe.cc, but another good tool to use to create a wireframe. Mm -hmm.